Okay guys, today we have gone camping. Um, they call this Flying Eagle. We are still in Inverness. We have walked through here once and we did kind of a video of it, but we've never camped here. This is a little bit of car right across um, town, on the other side of town from where we live. So um, we are where the horses are. <laughs> um, so it's pretty in here though. Very pretty. I'm going to turn you around so you can see. It's called the Flying Eagle Preserve. And there's trails all in here for the horses and stuff like that. And you can bike, ride, walk, whatever you want to do. Shabir's over here. He's going to be putting this tent up. We're, we're going to car camp, but we brought the, um, our, uh, what do you call this? What do we call that? I don't know what it's called. Screenhouse. Screenhouse. So if if it rains, at least we can go somewhere else besides the inside of the car. But we're going to sleep in the car instead of bringing our tent. We didn't bring it. So this give us a little room. And they got a fire pit over there. There's Bruno. I tied him up over there. Uh, there's a fire pit and a little barbecue pit thing there too. So, not bad. There are people here. There's people right way over there uh, on the other side of those woods. <coughs> so we're not the only ones out here. So, cool. So I'm going to help him and we'll get this up and we'll be back. Okay guys, we kind of got it all set up here. Huh? Uh, huh? What did you say? That's what you do to me every time I take the camera. Uh, you're huh? not what? focusing. <laughs> you're out of focus. It's dark. Yeah. So, he's got a fire going. We forgot our firewood. We got tons of firewood. And what do we do? We forget it. Yeah. Yeah. And he forgot his saw, so his little side to go out here and try to find something but what did you have your machete i got a machete i think i got a hatchet or yeah. two around here so he used it and got some wood so we could have a fire gotta have a fire what's a camping without a fire that's right monkey gotta have a fire so keeps the boogeyman and sasquatch away you're telling me because we brought beef jerky Oh yeah. Sasquatch loves meat sticks. Yeah. yeah. So he fixed the cooler. This is a refrigerator. He fixed it. We thought it was a cooler. I was putting ice in it and and stuff and he fixed it. So it's a refrigerator. So he's got it on the battery here. So I had to bring my insulin. So we got it nice and cold and other foods and stuff. This is going to be great. It's stand up but I don't have any grates. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I do have, I think, they're either out of a refrigerator or racks out of an oven uh -huh. out back uh -huh. that you were going to throw away one time. Right. And I said, no, keep them. So. I was going to use them for the bottom of my grill. Right. But I think I can cut them up. And, and make, use them in there. Make a couple racks. Because it's supposed to stand up long ways. Yeah, but fridge. right now well, we're using it this. Way, though. Yeah. I mean, you can use it either way. But. Yeah. I think that's a great thing. We didn't even know it. It was my dad's, and we we just thought it was a cooler. <laughs> and and then he had to fix the 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 cord on it. So once he did that, did it break again? Stepped on it. It's busted. Oh no! Before we left the house. Yeah, you showed it to me, but I didn't know how bad it was. So there's our living quarters right there. Our sleeping quarters. Got it all ready to go. It is supposed to be cold tonight. We brought this because it's, it looked like it was going to rain and it was calling for rain. So I figured if we really got stuck, we could go under here <coughs> and we don't have to be stuck in the car. You know, it's not much room in there when, you know, it starts raining or something. So there we go. We're all set up. And it's a, it's a pretty little area. <coughs> It's starting to get dark and I wanted to say what I needed to say and then we'll we'll do our stuff I don't know what we're gonna do we'll just sit around tonight maybe and maybe 
find a movie. He did bring his laptop. He brought my new projector. And I brought a sheet so we could put it up. So we could watch it. So we'll see how it works. Huh? Yeah. I know. I have to dig it. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, I just bring it. Right yeah. And pull it out, flip it up. Mm hmm. Yeah, that will be nice to try to do it that way. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to sit by that fire, put Bruno's pajamas on. I forgot his sweater. So he can put his pajamas on. They'll keep him warm. All right. Anything happens crazy, like Sasquatch comes out or anything crazy, we'll be back. For sure. Yeah. We'll be back, maybe. Okay, guys. Well, it's way past noon hour. <laughs> and we were sleeping. It poured all night long and all morning. So it was no fun. I had to go to the bathroom, so I walked to it. It was quite a, it's a good walk. Not bad, but um, I was going to take camera with me, but I didn't because it was raining. I didn't want the camera all wet. So, and on my way back, I saw a deer. That was pretty cool. And it's pretty quiet in here. We're the only ones. I don't know on the other side if we're the only ones still. This place is supposed to be booked. <laughs> we had people here last night, and they left. So I probably because it rained so badly. It is really pretty in here. I want to go down this trail back here and uh, check it out. I'm hoping it don't rain, but I don't know. It's not looking like a very nice day at all. But it's a good time to go walking and exploring because it's not too hot. So, anyways. Not much to really tell. We watched movies last night. That's all we did. I mean, what can you do? It's pouring out. It was cold. And in the car, oh my god. That heater in that car is wonderful. You turn that sucker on and it, you're hot. So, and it stays hot a long time. So that's a good thing. So, yeah, we got some more wood. We went over here to this campsite over here. It's kind of nice because it's like all by itself. Trees all the way around it. Very quiet. No one can really see you. It's quite nice. Anyways, they had left. So we went and got the seat. Checked out to see if they had any wood. And they did. So we took it. <laughs> you know, but it's all wet. So I don't know if we'll be able to have a fire tonight or not. Um. Shaver wants to go home and do uh, lo upload some movies. And my mom wasn't feeling good again last night. So I'm going to run over there. See, there we go. Isn't that nice? That's a nice campsite right there. I think it's pretty cool. And it goes back in there too. So you, you got lots of room. These are for horses mostly. Um, it was the only one we could get. So, yeah. So I think it's pretty cool in here. There are bears in here, of course. Um, have I seen one? No. Not with all the rain. Um, <clears throat> you know, our bears don't really hibernate like they do up north. Um, you know, it's warm. <laughs> so we may, you may not see them as much as you would in the summer, but um, yeah. But see, there's a trail down here. And I want to go exploring it. But by the time I get back, it's probably going to be dark. You know? And then we have to leave tomorrow. See, this is a road. This is... There's carbon down here. Some kind of road. <laughs> I think it would be fun to go down here and check it out. If I get back in time, I doubt if I will because it's already 1 o'clock. So, maybe we could do it in the morning before we leave or something. I could probably stay and they wouldn't even know it. No one's going to kick you out here, I don't think. They may change the lock, though. So, I'd like to go down there and check it out. 
if I can, if I have time. And, you know, my mom's not, you know, she was doing better and I guess she started feeling sick yesterday. So they are doing a bunch of tests on her. Her, she has a port in for her, for her kidneys just in case she needed it again. They didn't want to take it out <clears throat> and it could be infected. That's what we're worried about. So I should go and check on her because, you know, they're not going to tell you everything on the phone. And a lot of them don't call you unless they're on their deathbed. That's the only time the doctors seem to call. <laughs> so we'll get going and I'll run over there and see how she's doing. And uh, hopefully we can maybe explore a little bit before we leave here. If not, I'll get him to try to book this again. And we can spend a few more days out here. Because this is really nice. I mean... The, the only thing is, my favorite is still the water, because you can go fishing there, you know. But, I mean, this, you, you can walk. There's all kinds of trails in here, so you can walk all over the place in here. Or you could take a bike. I wish I had an e-bike, because he can't really ride a bicycle. And I'm getting up there. I would like an e-bike myself, but they're so expensive, you know. So... Anyways, maybe one day, and um, we'll be able to do that. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Thought I saw something in there. Yeah, it's really pretty in here. But I think my favorite is still the water. But um, I need to explore here more. I mean, we've walked in here a couple of times, but. Never really did, camped here, so. Ah, oh, I'm so mad it rained. It rained so badly. I woke up at 9. He was up all night watching movies, and so he just woke up. I fell back asleep again because it was just, you know, it is a little relaxing, though. All the stress I've been under kind of helps just to sleep out here. Nobody bothers you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get going because he's getting the car going and we're going to go do our stuff and we'll let you know what happens. Stay tuned for more. Okay guys, so we're back at the camping place. And... Flying he, Eagle. Flying Eagle. Can't remember the name. It's pretty cool in here. We saw deer coming in. I saw one this morning. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Um, he's cutting us some wood. It did rain. It was raining where I, when I went to visit my mom today. Uh, she's having a procedure done in the morning. You okay? Yeah. You cut yourself? No, but I was close. Oh my God. I cut my jeans. You should know not to do it that way. Hmm. Yeah, we have to save that. So, she's having a procedure done in the morning. They're taking her ports out. So, they're going to take her to the clinic where she's having it done. And then they bring her back. So, I'm going to go see her tomorrow in the afternoon. And we're going to go home tomorrow in the morning. So, um, hopefully it won't rain. It was raining out there, but that's closer to Crystal River. Um... So, it's nice right now. Cold, but it's nice. And maybe we can have a nice little fire and uh, watch some more movies. He brought my dad has a screen. I don't know what he did with it. I think it's in the back of the car. And he has a screen right here. This was my dad's for all his movies and stuff. My dad liked to take pictures and slides. He had lots of slides. So we're going to use this for our projector so we can watch movies on instead of using a sheet. So we're going to try it out anyway. See? And these, he thinks, these are part of the refrigerator that was my father's. So he's going to try and see if these fit in there. And if they do, then it can sit up the way it's supposed to. Because it's not supposed to be laying down. It's supposed to sit up. It's a refrigerator, not a cooler like we thought. So, 
anyways, anything happens, anything great, I will turn you on. And uh, we'll sit out here and we're going to try to cook dinner on the fire. I went and got propane for him so he could use his little thing, but it was the wrong stuff, so he can't use it. So we're going to do it on the fire. So I'll show you that in a bit. Hey guys, we got a fire going. We won't be able to eat for a while because it has to be cold. Well, that's okay. He's over there messing with that. It's crooked. You say build a fire in it so he could cook. Probably faster. Oh, there. It was in his light. Huh. So, anyways, that's what we're doing. Heard some coyotes. And that's about it. Okay, guys, so I cleaned up a little bit. There's Bruno. Got it all organized a little bit. Seems to get so messy so fast. <sighs> so, anyways, that's our movie stuff there. And that way, when we're ready, we can lay down and go to sleep if we want. Or we can lay down and watch a movie. So, so that part's done. Shea Bear's over here cooking. Cooking, cooking. I'll show you what he's got going. He's got two stoves going over here. <laughs> he got the sizzling going on here. That's a ham for Christmas. <laughs> and over here, I think he's got macaroni and cheese. Right water for it. So it's just water right now. <laughs> there we go. So we'll be eating in no time, huh babe? Yeah. Yeah, you can go in. It's cold out, but it's not raining, so that's a plus. Thank goodness. After yesterday, that was a lot. So I'm just glad it's not raining right now. So that's it for now, guys. I'll let you go and we're going to eat and I'll clean up some of this mess and we'll get inside and watch movies. Okay guys, so it's like almost 9.30 so uh, I'm up kind of <laughs> sleeping in that van or truck, whatever you want to call it, SUV, is not very comfortable. Not at our age. It's not easy. If I was flexible in my 20s, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but it's very hard. I keep getting cramps in my legs. It's awful. But it is what it is. <laughs> it's easier to get in and out of it than it is to get off the ground for me. So, anyways, I'm walking to the bathroom. So I thought I'd bring you along because I didn't bring you along yesterday because of the rain. It is freezing cold. It doesn't feel like Florida. Sure doesn't. This time of year, we're usually in our 70s and sometimes in the 80s. Everybody else is snowing. We're friggin' cold. This is so cold. I'm freezing. Ugh, it's terrible. It's very windy. At least the sun's out today, though. Gorgeous. Really pretty. I mean, it is pretty. It's very windy. As you guys can probably hear. So there we are. Yeah. This, it's so pretty in here, though. Uh, we'll probably come back again. Um, you know, and these nice, nice to have these three campgrounds that are free. Yeah. That we're able just to book and come. <coughs> so, I'm walking towards the bathroom. And... <coughs> uh, sorry. 
So, Shea Bear said there was a bear near us last night. Uh, I didn't like that idea. Because <coughs> you never know what they're capable of, you know? But, um, he left. So, you know, we have, what, black bears here? Yeah. And they're not that aggressive. They, they don't want you as much as you want to be around them, so. <coughs> they're not like the big grizzlies and stuff. I was trying to hope maybe I'd see a deer. Um, at this early, you know, I usually see them running around out here, so. I wanted to keep rolling just in case. Because you just never know. Ugh. That noise you're hearing, it sounds like they're racing, they're practicing. The racetrack isn't that far from here, really. So, they could be. They could be practicing. Hmm. What are those? Are those bear tracks? I don't know. Huh. I'll have to show Shea Bear. I have no idea. And what are these? Deer? Or bear? I'm not an expert. Not at all. I'm not a full city girl, but I am far from a hunter. <laughs> far from it. So, yeah, look. Look at those. Now, that could be a horse. People do bring their horses here and ride them. I don't know. Ooh. Hope I don't see anything I don't want to see. Because Shaber doesn't even know I've gone to the bathroom. I'm, I'm sure he could figure it out. <laughs> you know. I mean, where do you go here? Huh. So, anyways. It was so pretty through here. I'll cut some of this out if it's not that interesting. But, just in case I want to keep it rolling. I wish I could have got those deers yesterday. Oh. When I went to the bathroom yesterday, I saw the one. And then when we came back last night, we had two crossing us. They were so pretty. I love deer. They're so pretty. I wish people wouldn't hunt them. But they can be dangerous, too, especially on the highway. I hit one once. Well, I hit two. They were twins. They were babies. And uh, I hit the one baby. And the mother, oh my God, she cried. It was so sad. I was in North Carolina, and uh, it was dark. It was that night. <coughs> and there was two twins and a mother, and uh, I hit the baby, the one of them. And the mother, she she didn't leave. They don't leave. They weren't. She wasn't afraid of me. She just sat there and cried. I felt so bad. And we were in a car, so we couldn't really um, take it, you know. It was big enough to, to eat. Um, so, um, there were a guy stopped in, in a truck, and he took it. But I saw the way they cry. Oh, it's awful. I never heard them cry like that. I felt so bad. I still feel bad today. And that was like 20 years ago. So, yeah. But, you know, things happen, you know. They run out in front of you. And then one time, I was going to Tennessee. And uh, I lived in North Carolina there. And we were going, I was going to Tennessee. And uh, a girl in front of us, she was all by herself, college girl. And, uh, a deer ran right out in front of her, totaled her car, just totaled it. I felt so bad for her. We stopped to make sure she was okay and everything, and we got help for her and stuff. So, now what are these? Are those deer? Y'all have to tell me, 
because I have no clue. The other one I'm a little worried about. Look like a friggin' bear. Mm hmm. And what time was that done? You know? Our bears don't hibernate because it's usually nice and warm. So I keep looking. <laughs> I have no spray, nothing. I just have to yell and scream and hope it pray and goes away. Or I, better yet, we just don't want to see one. <laughs> I did see one once I was uh, working and I was going to what they call Fort McCoy and uh, it's wilderness. So I turned down this dirt road to go to a patient's house and uh, it was something. I turned and there was a mama bear and two baby bears. They were so cute but I was in a truck. I felt pretty safe. And she stopped. They were going across the road like this and she stopped and looked at me and I stopped the car or my truck and uh, she let them go across and then she crossed and then she looked at me like she was saying thank you. It was so cute. Really cute. <laughs> so anyways this is where the bathroom is. That's how far I had to walk. But at least uh, they have a bathroom. Yeah. I'm not, you know, one that goes into the field. So, I have to have some kind of bathroom. I mean, I can handle these if they're clean. This one's clean. I try not to go in them, though. Okay, so this is Flying Eagle here. Let me see if I can. I might be too. I'm way out. This is a big sign here, so let me show you the. I don't know if you can see it because the sun's in the way there that's better so this is how big this place is yeah so you can see huh. it's pretty big and they got stuff over here you know of course warning for bears they have owls here which we heard we've seen the deer and there is a pond here, which we're going to go and show y'all. Um, <laughs> the sun's still in the way there. I had to move. Um, but on our way out, we, we're going to do that so you guys can see. Look at that sky. That's cool, eh? Wicked sky. We do have some pretty, pretty skies here in Florida. <clears throat> so... Anyways, I'm going to go do my duties and, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Oops. There you go. Sorry. So they call it duty calls. That's funny. Yep. So, <laughs> little joke there. So this is where they do the deer cutting, your, your check station. Uh, um. And they do wild turkey here too. <clears throat> yeah. So, a lot of them have clubs. They have hunting clubs, so they come here and they'll do their hunting here. And they'll close this place just for those hunters. So, it is beautiful in here though. It really is. I just wish I. We didn't have that rain last night. That was just too much yesterday. You know, when you plan to do these things, you <laughs> so you you don't want to see that. I need to do these things and get away from all the stress, but at the same time, I have to take care of my mother. So it makes it hard for us to go anywhere. So, um, but at least we can go here, and I can go. Uh, to see her and I do have a signal here on and off um, so I had a lot of signal yesterday here so I had no trouble trying to call the hospital or anything to check on her so that's good 
some of them I, you don't have no signal. So uh, on our way home, we're going to go down here and we'll check it out out here and I'll show you when we go down there. So we're going to go back. I was hoping to see a couple of deer or one crossing or something. Yesterday one was crossing here when I was coming back from the bathroom. And then when we came down this road last night, we saw two jumping. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyways. Uh, as soon as I turn you guys off, they'll probably show up. It's cold though. They like the cold deer. They like it. Makes them frisky. We saw an armadillo last night. Um, yeah, I heard something in the woods over there wrestling. And Shaber went and looked a little bit. You could see him. It was an armadillo. They make a lot of noise. <coughs> they, they're low to the ground, so they're all over the leaves and stuff. So it's funny. So, anyways, we'll go back down here. Oh, this is for sure January weather for Florida. January and February are the coldest times. And January can be so bitter. And I'll tell you what, December has been like that. And December usually is medium. You know, where you saw, I have swam in the ocean Christmas Day. And then there's been times that it's been too cold. So, but, um, yeah, this is too cold for me. Yeah, I don't like it. I had def definitely became a Floridian, for sure. <clears throat> I've been here too long. My blood's too thin now. I'm just trying to see if we could see anything. You know, any deer. I don't really want to run into a bear, but maybe from a distance I could see him. That would be all right, but no, we don't want him close. <laughs> Not this girl. So, well, we're going to break down the camp as soon as Shea Bear wakes up, which is probably going to be a couple hours. <clears throat> close to it. Well, we're supposed to be out of here at 11. There ain't nobody here. People book these things, which makes you mad, and don't cancel. And so the place looks like it's full when it's not. We could actually stay today, probably. But if you go on to, to book it, it's full. So we have to leave. Stupid. Really dumb. Makes you mad. You know, these are free for us to enjoy. And people take advantage of them. And I don't like that. Because, I mean, if we had to pay for this place, we would probably come, but it depends on how much it would be. You know, we'd probably still come. It's just, you know, it's so much conveniency when, when it's free. That's why we come to these places so easily, and they're so close. So, <clears throat> that one that we went to in, uh, I think it was Hernando's. You know, we had to pay to go there, and it was crowded. But that was in the summertime, and everybody had their boat. The only thing I didn't like, we couldn't keep our boat in the water. Once we, we had to take it out and put it back in every day. That was a pain. But otherwise, we had fun. We had a good time there. Um, yeah. Didn't get much sleep because they had a baby next door, and she cried a lot too much some babies are just not ready for camping you know sometimes it's just better to find somebody for it <clears throat> anyways as soon as I shut you <laughs> I know but we'll just keep walking we're almost there anyways I keep trying to look around my surroundings here <clears throat> Just in case we see something. Beautiful trees. Look at that sun. Gorgeous. Yeah, look at the wind up there. 
just a weapon. Mm. Yeah, they must be practicing racing today. <coughs> so, I don't know. I heard that early this morning. I'm like, what the heck? Well, that's what it sounds like, the racetrack. <coughs> so. thought I heard something. Here the birdies. I thought I heard something else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyways. Very pretty place. Awesome. I'm gonna go down here. We'll go, we'll go down this road a little ways. Just to see what's going on down there. I have nothing to do until he gets up. So, see what's that? And what is that? Mm hmm. This is it a bear? Is that a bear track? I don't know. Now that looks like somebody's foot. Bigfoot? It could be, guys, you know? We're the only ones here. There ain't nobody here, so where do these come from? And they weren't there yesterday because it poured rain all day. Where do they come from? This was this morning. This is where this came this morning. Huh. Had to. Had to. Interesting. So... I don't know. Late last night, we did see a car come in here, and they turned around. So, maybe on the other side, where we're going to go when we leave here, it, maybe there's people over there. But, I mean, the end, they don't go nowhere else. So, you tell me, is that Bigfoot? Well, there has been sightings here. That's what they, I have read, we have read, I think, in the, in, in Google, that they have had sightings. So, you just don't know, do you? Alright, where's that road that I saw yesterday? I wanted to kind of go down. Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. Oh, reminds me of Canada. My my grandparents had a uh, a lodge way up in Canada, and uh, it was all woodsy and stuff. And this is, this stuff here reminds me of that. So beautiful. My aunt and I used to try to make snow <laughs> when it wouldn't snow out of styrofoam. We got in trouble once because I put it all over my dad's Camaro. <laughs> oh, was he mad. Yeah, so that was interesting. Now this has like, got to be some kind of road because look, there's tracks here. So this is what I was interested in down here. I won't go too far because I'm by myself and I don't have any bear spray. <laughs> so... <clears throat> As I call it, deer spray. I called it deer spray once. And Shea Bear was like, what? I said, deer spray. we got to get some deer spray. He says, oh, you mean bear spray. I said, yeah. So every time, he always calls it deer spray on me. Because I said that. Well, that's not bad in the morning. I don't mind walking. Oh, well, this ain't too bad. As long as we don't see a bear, we good. I don't know where this goes. I don't know. Could be Bigfoot's house. You never know, right? Or what do they call them? Sasquatch? Or they have... They have the one, the swamp, swamp one. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe him because we're really we're not far away from water at all. I thought we were, but we're not. <clears throat> so, ooh, what was that? Look at that hole. What the heck? Oh, my eyes stepped in that one. It must be deer. Now I would say it's a big deer. What? Is that a bear? Or is that Sasquatch? That could be bear. It could be. That could be bear. Hmm. Well, anybody knows what these tracks are, if I got, got them pretty good, let me know. Because I have no clue. Now, I think these little ones, are they? those could be deer or they could be wild turkey maybe. Because there is wild turkey in here. I'm not going to go too far in here. Because there could be a bear through here. So, I'd like to take this trail one day and come out here and just walk it. And see where it goes. But this is a road. It might just be one big circle. Look at that. I mean, really, lots of tracks. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyways. Okay, guys, I just came back to the site because um, we, uh, battery died. <laughs> so that's okay. Now I got a new one, so when we go down there, I'm going to drive down there because you can drive down there. I want to see where it goes. I think it's just a shortcut to, um, you know, to, to the other side. I think that's all it is, but it'll be fun going down there. I like it in here. This is so pretty to me. This is a trail here you can take. <clears throat> I think they, they have lots of horse trails and stuff in here, so I won't go too far in here, but it's pretty in here. It is so windy. I keep saying that. But it's cold. It's a cold day. I'll tell you. I feel sorry for the animals that have to live outside. And, but I guess they're used to it. Or not. But they are. So see how pretty it is in here? Anyways. I don't see any markings though. You know blue markings or red markings or anything like that. So I don't know. If this is really a trail, look at that. Now, what is that, guys? Did I get it? Yeah. What is that one? Hmm. So, anyways, the guys give you a lot of trails. Oof. That is something. That's a big one. I think there's a lot of deer in here. Yeah. So, lots of deer roaming around in here. Well, this is their home, you know. So, let me see. Armadillos. And, uh, I live in here too, so. I'm not going to go too far. I'll get myself lost. <laughs> like I said, I like going in these places and exploring, but, yeah, I wouldn't do it by myself, that's for sure. I'm not a professional. At all. Now I can see I got myself twisted. Trying to get over these vines. Yep. <clears throat> so. Anyways. It is really pretty in here. Okay guys. So when we get ready to go. And that. Um, we'll, we'll go down there. And I'll show it to you. We'll see what's going on down there. Okay. We'll be back. Okay guys, so I went down this road a little ways and then my battery died. So I thought we'd take the car, we got everything packed, we're going. <laughs> so we're going to take you guys through here. But I think this is really just a shortcut to the other side. I don't want to go to the other side yet. <laughs> You're on your way. She said, I want to go down this way. I'm like, oh crap. There's another transfer case job. <laughs> so. Yeah, the sugar sand don't like vehicles. No. We're all right. We're in a Chevy. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. It is a road. I mean, obviously, you can tell. 
but where does it go? That's what I want to know. So. And I couldn't go all the way because of the back, uh, because of the uh, camera done. I wanted to show you. Ah, oh, look. There's the water thing. Huh. I believe that's the other the site over there. Is it? Yeah. So this is kind of like a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Mm, cool. See that water thing there? That thing actually works. It did with last time we were here. Remember yeah. we tried it? Yeah. It's cool. Go go check. Okay, go check. We'll get time. Yeah, we got time. We're actually a little early. Mm-hmm. I'll let him walk. He's limping. He's hurt his knee and he doesn't want to go to the hospital. I think I might have to take him and have an x-ray done. I don't think it's broken. I just think he sprained it. Okay, guys. So See the limp? Mm-hmm. Man. Um, this is mm -hmm. a shortcut out of here, monkey time. I didn't know it existed. So we were just like right straight through there. Mm-hmm. We so we're going to go through here, and we're going to go over to the other side. Creature right down there will go, but... This is pretty cool. Let's see if it still works. You can hear it. Yeah, it'll still work if it had a new seal in it. Yeah. I just need prime. You pour water in there and prime. There it goes. Just a little bit. Last time it worked really well. Yeah, that's uh, that's old, isn't it? <coughs> that old. It's not an antique, no. No. Yeah, you don't. This is like for horses and dishes and. Right. It's Bruno. He just. <laughs> we'll be back, Bruno. Okay, guys. So now we're down at the the creek and the bridge here. This is where they do the ramp thing for the um. Oh, what do they call those airboats? <laughs> and I'll show you. I think the last time we were down here, that um. The boat went over it, and we watched it. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he went right across here and up and over. We were going to go here and fish, but it's just been too cold and too uh, too rainy for us to do all that. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Yeah, I've got a Let's see the bridge here. <coughs> yeah, you do. Did I YouTube it? I, I think you did. Hey, well, I'll see if I can find it right now. <laughs> see the current? Now. There's a current uh, going. Very cool. Too low for too low yeah. <clears throat> you can't take the regular boat across there. No. Uh-uh. Yep. Oh, here's a biker. <clears throat> so, yep, really pretty. Cool. Mm-hmm. I wish I would have another good Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good. With the others, like I said, is just right on top. And there's of our car right there. Yeah, we we're just over there. We kind of took a shortcut here from there. Yeah, we were camping right over there, Mom. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's why I heard that airboat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bring me your water? And he says, yes. <laughs> she said, well, how come we don't see it? <laughs> 
the woods, <laughs> the trees. Please. But we were very we were close to it. I didn't even know it. Well, I, I told you that. I said the creek's right over there. Oh, yeah. and then we hear an airboat. She's like, "Wow, that's close." Like, the creek's right over there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was. It sounded like he was right coming on the right, right in the there. campground there. Very cool. This goes right around the Yeah, you can go to the left or right there. Yep. Right kind of circles around the camp there. Heard a uh. real weird noise over in here last night. Mm-hmm. I told her, I said, man, I hope it's on the other side of this creek. Hmm. Uh, it, was a, it wasn't a howl. It wasn't a growl. <coughs> and it wasn't a... A coyote. We heard the coyotes. Hmm. So I don't know what it was, but. Hmm. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna stop it, and we're gonna go to the other campground and show you. Right, we're going to go up. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, that was close. <laughs> yeah, we went in there, but there was a guy in there, so I couldn't film it because I was driving. So Shay Barry got it. So, but yeah. There's not. There's just a few in there, not too many. But this is really pretty through here. Yeah. See some? No, I'm just filming, man. Mm. Anyways, that's it. And we're on our way out. They have a check-in station up here for deer and turkey. Yeah. Turkey? Do they hunt turkey down there? Yeah. Wild turkey, yeah. Wild turkey. No, they hunt turkey in cages. Well, you never know. No, I do know. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to end it here and um, because I showed you all this before and let Shea Bear do his thing. There you go. Horses here. Yeah, people on the trail for horses. Here, I'll let you roll. Cool. I'll wait for them to go by because that's really neat. Oops. Bruno? He sees the horses and the dogs. And they stopped so that little girl could see. He has a little girl, that guy. He's, you can't see her. Oh, there she is. She's right there. She's looking at the horses. So, and, uh, yeah, so. Uh, there they go. And that little girl right there. So we're getting ready to leave. Uh, I'm going to say I'm out because Bruno's acting up and we're just... We're just having trouble, so let me get out of here. He's waiting on me. Mike says she's out. Bye, y'all.